What's up guys, it's Jersey Flex here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on horny goat weed and maca, uh, also known as Epimedian. Uh, go down, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, but if you're a faithful subscriber, thanks for coming back to my channel. So, now that you've gone down, subscribed, liked, commented, all that good stuff, Let's get into the three main reasons why Epimedian, or also known as Horny Goat Weed, is sold, purchased, and consumed. Uh, let me start off by also saying that I am not your doctor. I am no licensed nutritionist. If you're going to start taking this, it's good that you consult your doctor or clinical healthcare provider, whatever, you know. Don't be just taking this just because you see me, a bodybuilder, talking about it. So but I will speak about the three main reasons. Number one, it is a mood enhancer. It also provides mental clarity. Number two, it is a testosterone booster um, in terms of how much, how little, you know, for some people may have different effects. And number three, it is also used for libido purposes. So let's go into mood enhancer and mental clarity and let's talk about how uh, I felt when I took it personally because on here the instructions speak and again doses will vary from person to person if you don't feel too right taking it because it can increase high blood pressure so if you have sensitivity to caffeine things like that you should really be careful and again consult your doctor I'm no doctor I'm not telling you to take it but um it says to take two capsules. It, two capsules is one serving size. Take two capsules a day twice. So you take two in the morning, two before bed, two in the morning, two before whatever, you know, in the afternoon. But uh, so four capsules daily. Um, again, if you notice any kind of like dizziness or like things like that, you have sensitivity to caffeine that may occur. So instead of taking two in the morning, two at night, you might want to take one in the morning one before bed, that kind of thing. But um, anyways, let's talk about mood enhancer and mental clarity. I personally noticed it did give me more energy throughout my day. I was able to think a little clearer, um, assuming it was from blood flow to the brain, provided more oxygen to my brain, you know, that kind of thing. It is a vasodilator, so you do get those nice, you know, veins that can do that. But um, regardless, it helps with circulation, things like that. And uh, it does provide mental clarity, provides you with more energy. And that kind of leads to the second uh, reason it is used. It's also a testosterone booster. It will increase your testosterone. Um, given that you already follow a clean diet, you eat healthy, it'll enhance that effect of testosterone boosting. It's not something where if you're eating a bunch of junk food and then you start taking the supplement, you're gonna notice an increase in testosterone. You have to already have a clean diet aligned with taking the supplement in order to have maximum benefit or maximum result from the supplement. So, and that goes with any kind of vitamin, supplement, mineral, whatever. You know, you're gonna maximize the result by having a clean diet. But uh, it is a testosterone booster, which will in return give you more energy, more energy, better mood, mental clarity. So, you know, those are those two key points. And alongside with testosterone boosting, that goes hand in hand with libido, which is the third point that I've listed on, you know, that list I gave in the beginning. It does increase libido in terms of that. And I don't want to go too crazy into that kind of talk because, you know, YouTube guidelines, but, you know, you could fill in the dots. Testosterone booster, libido is going to be enhanced with that as well. So that is a benefit for both men and women. It enhances, you know, for for both uh, male and female. But um, also some side benefits from taking it as well, which the uh, internet has provided me with the knowledge of, which in return I'll share with you. Uh, benefits that it can provide and that it's also used for is back pain, joint pain, arthritis, improving mental fatigue, which I mentioned earlier with mood enhancer and mental clarity. Um, Memory loss, high blood pressure, heart disease. It's also used in some situations to help patients who have polio, AIDS, liver disease, and weak bones. Like, you know, 
arthritis and all that kind of stuff going on there. So that being said, those are the uh, health benefits that it can, you know, provide you with. Um, and basically my review on it personally, um, I've taken it on and off for the past couple years. You know, there's times where I feel like, you know, I'm a little run down from going to the gym so much. Let me just try and get a little bit of jolt of energy. Let me just try something, switch it up, you know, and if drinking more water throughout the day isn't really doing it, I have kind of cycled onto it. I don't know if you'd really call it a cycle or not. But uh, they say you should take it for six to eight weeks and then not take it anymore for, you know, give it like a week or two break kind of thing. So I guess you can consider it a cycle, but, um, you know, cycling up a medium, that kind of sounds crazy. It's not like it's some hard anabolic, but, you know, um, my personal experiences with it is I did notice mental clarity. I did notice an increase in energy. I did notice an increase in libido and I did notice an increase in testosterone. So it gets a four out of five. And the reason four out of five rather than five out of five for me is because it is kind of toxic. It is something that has to be synthesized in the liver. You know, unfortunately, most oral uh, supplements, they do get synthesized in the liver. So that is one downside to this. Um, it is toxic, so you do have to be careful how much you take it. You do have to cycle off of it, you know, but it's not like a steroid or an anabolic, so it's not some crazy heavy thing. I do recommend it for people that are later in their 20s, you know, early 30s, and they kind of notice a, a lack of energy drive. And again, the reason why I took it was, you know, not because of low T, not, nothing like that, is more because I noticed I was feeling run down between work and the gym and my daily schedule. So I said to myself, let's take something to kind of like lift me up. And I did notice strength gains in the gym. I did notice more energetic volume when I was training in the gym while I was taking this supplement. So it does get a good review out of me. Again, the only reason it's a four out of five is because it is a toxic substance. It is something you can't have too much of. There was a time where I actually did take it during last summer, summer of 2019, and I kind of noticed I felt a little lightheaded. I started getting kind of like headaches throughout the day. And then I, instead of taking two pills in the morning, two before bed, like it recommends on the bottle, I only was taking one in the morning, one before bed. And that made all the difference in getting rid of the headache. So it is something you do kind of have to be careful with in that respect. Um, so yeah, is it something that I would recommend? It is something that I would recommend. Again, uh, be sure of it. Uh, keep in mind it is toxic. It is not something that you could just take like vitamin C. Vitamin C is something that you can handle a lot more IUs or internal units rather. So vitamin C is basically found in a lot of different foods. It's found in carrots. It's found in oranges orange juice, you know, if we're crying out loud, most tropical fruits have vitamin C, most vegetables have vitamin C. That's something you can have a high volume of. This is something a little different. And I'm really explaining this, breaking it down for people who are new to taking vitamins. They wanted something for better mood, more testosterone, increased energy or libido. And they found this on the internet. They found horny goat weed, epimedian rather. And um, they're looking to take it, you know, someone like that might have like a basic knowledge about nutrition so i want to break it down using something like vitamin c that's something you can handle a lot of this is really not it's not like a vitamin you know it's it's more of a herbal uh supplement so you do have to have a little bit of a background knowledge before you take any kind of herbal supplement and you do have to consult your doctor for a better opinion so and to make sure that you're all right to take it because Again, it can increase your heart rate, it can increase high blood pressure, it can increase all that stuff, like if you have sensitivities to caffeine, which I mentioned earlier. So keep that in mind and do speak to your doctor before taking it. That is my honest opinion about it. Will put you in a better mood, increase sex drive, libido, whatever word you wanna use for it, and also increase testosterone if you're a weightlifter, bodybuilder, like me let's go so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i'm recording this kind of quickly because i do have work tomorrow <laughs> tmi but um 
If you're new to this page, go down, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, again, thanks for being faithful and loyal to this page. There'll be plenty more reviews, videos, workouts, diets, and things like that to come in the future. So stay subscribed, stay tuned, and stay posted. Jersey Flex, baby. We out. Jersey. Bust at the up, hold down the spot, beast with the buck, shout to be wet.